Hey everybody, I'm Meds, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we got the Star Spinner and Dodgems Challenge jiggies. And we also fed the kids, but we could not take one of them home, unfortunately. So we'll have to come back to that later. Anyway, it's been st it's been staring at us the entire time. The, the one elephant in the room, so to speak, or... Big top in the carnival. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Hello! I'm pretty sure this guy was. Let me see your tickets, buddy. Tickets? What do we need them for? Four tickets are required to enter Conga's Big Top. No tickets, no entry. But we have four tickets! Pass them over then, my pal. Cheers! I'd better let you in now, then. You're just in time. The show's about to begin. I hope they've got acrobats and a human cannonball! But I'm pretty sure that guy was actually a villain in the first game, the first level, actually. Where do you think our seat will be? I can't see any seats. Perhaps we were supposed to sit on that lumpy, or big lump on the floor over there. Here. Whatever. Doesn't look very comfy. Definitely doesn't look very comfy. Oh god, it's alive! My worst nightmare has been realized. Oh dear! Not more intruders! Well, I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is? Pah! You're not all that big, really. That Klungo freak near the start was probably bigger than you. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this, then? <laughs> Mr. Patch, strange, wobbly, inflatable, inflatable thing. Well, my voice and thought didn't want to read that title. I suppose you think you're clever, don't you? Well, one doesn't like to toot one's own trumpet. I sense a battle coming on. If you insist. Oh god, this is Mr. Patch, the boss of Witchy World. Holy crap, it's here. I love this song. Anyway, what you're going to get What you're going to want to do is as you can see, he's got tons of patches all over his body, hence the name Mr. Patch. So, let's just fix that with a grenade and then he can accidentally hit it with his tail. You know what? This will probably be much easier going close up. Why don't we try that? See, I can have smart ideas sometimes. Even if I follow even if it follows a really stupid idea to run away. Alright, so let's hit it this time. There we go! No! You found a weak spot! It looks like I might need some help here. You'll have to beat me from the air now. So those little bottles hills with little punching gloves will They'll come out of the ground a lot and try to punch you. They're really not that hard to dodge. And I'm sure you can still beat them from the ground. It's possible. But it's just much easier to do it from the air. Anyway, in the air, it is a little easier to get some distance because you're constantly moving towards him whenever you're trying to fire at him. And you also... You also miss a lot if your name is Meds. So I wouldn't have that name. That would put you at a disadvantage during this fight. This actually gets a little bit difficult. Ow! Oh, I hit one. Awesome. If you actually touch him, it's not a big deal because he just bounces you off because he's a... He, he's an inflatable thing. Eventually, like now, he's gonna start shooting beach balls at you, which I love. Uh, so if those hit you, they will not be fun times. So I'd recommend avoiding that. Uh, can I hit this? Can I hit this? Oh, I hit a, I hit the wrong one. As you can see, the more patches you take out, the s smaller he actually gets, which gets, which I think is a really nice touch. I love this fight, so good. Uh, however, that also means he gets a lot harder to hit. 
And he, it seems like he moves a little faster, but that just, that might just be the contrast. Uh, not contrast. That's what I'm looking for. It might just be because he's smaller. Oh, come on! Probably should have been watching that a little bit closer. Ow! Not what I wanted to happen! Holy crap, how am I that low in health? Well, I better finish off this fight quick, then. Alright, so he's got, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, he only has two hits now that I need to hit. Ah, stop moving! My best strategy, as you can probably tell by now. Oh my gosh, he's... No, he definitely got... Oh. Oh, oh. Not fun. Not fun indeed. Oh god! No, 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 no! I panicked and got stupid. I can't believe I did that. Come on, guys! I'm not a violent inflatable. I won't. I don't want to hurt you again. You're full of hot air. Ha! Ha! True, but I see you need another lesson. Kazooie, you are so funny! How did I die on Mr. Patch? He's probably one of the easiest bosses in the game, if not the easiest. Because he almost never hits you. I mean, I find targets in a little harder. Like, the only... <laughs> Mr. Patch is just annoying. Targetsin, I actually find a little harder because he actually, I don't know, I'm more prone to getting hit from him because Mr. Patch almost never attacks you. He's just really fast and hard to hit while you're in the air because he's constantly moving. Come on, I totally hit that. Oh, I, I thought that didn't blow up for a second. But yeah, as you can see, like, whenever... What killed me was... I was trying to... I don't know what killed me. Because whenever you... I was... I can't even justify that. I don't know how I managed to go straight down. I must have been holding forward for, a, for some reason. To make myself look down. Ow! I don't know, maybe I was trying to avoid... What happened was I was trying to avoid something, and I was trying to turn around, but I also guess I was facing down a little bit, so I ran straight into the ground whenever I did the thing. And it was too close for me to be able to stop it. Which makes me extremely sad. And I'm pretty sure everybody is laughing at me by this point, if they weren't already. Go ahead and move it. Oh, come on! That's what you get. Turn around. No! Holy crap! He's got some pretty good accuracy. Oh, I thought I blew that one up on his face. Already. I know I blew up the other one just a second ago, but I thought I got that one too. Earlier. Uh, I don't- I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to do this with four grenade eggs. Alright, come on. No, Mr. Patch! I hate you! No! I'm very loud this episode. In every episode I ever do, probably. Come on. I didn't even hit with one of those. Oh, that was barely... I was barely high enough for that to not hurt. Or low enough, I should say. Man, he got fast. Stop getting so fast! No! I hit that! No, run away! Why? Why am I doing so poorly on this boss? I got this. I got this. I got this. 
Okay, I got one. I didn't see which one it was, but I think it's the higher one. In which case, yeah, I'm sad now. Because if I could have gotten the lower one first, that would have been much more beneficial. Because it's definitely the harder one to hit. Oh, yes! Got it! Thank you for turning around to try and hit me. Uh. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. Oh, no! Also... That little... The little blowhole of his seems a little bit... It seems like the placement was a little too close to be a coincidence, if you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, don't look into it any farther because you're not going to like what you see. Alright, so that about does it for Witchy World. Man, that boss fight took way too long. So let's go ahead and head back to... Where are we heading back to? Hey, can't you read, Furbag? All food must be consumed in the theme park! That's not fair! Of course it's not fair! But I try and but try and leave with that stuff you've got and I'll take it off of you! That's weird, I, d I shouldn't have anything because I gave both the burger and the fries to the kids. So why do I have food? Whatever. Anyways, you can see we no longer have our food. Which I didn't know we had in the first place, but whatever, you know. I am very low in health. It'd probably be a good idea to fix that, but you know. Me and good ideas don't happen very often. Anyway, here is Jiggy Wiggy's temple. We need 14 jig... I forgot they were what they were called for a second. Jiggies to open up the next world, but we have 29, so we are set. Alright! Jiggy Wiggy's challenge to- I don't know why I expected that to be inverted. Oh, I didn't mean to put it there, but whatever, I'll take it. Alright, let's guess here. No, it's this one. There it is. This one has to go here. No! Here! This one is the left corner. This one right here. This one goes right here. This one goes, in fact, right here. This one would be the bottom right corner. I hear a Jinjo. And that one goes in there. The Jinjo is actually in the painting. Just to not cause any confusion. You've completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 4, so now the Great One will show you the way. The power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! Yeah, thanks, I know. Uh. Where am I going now? I actually, I don't remember how to get there. Oh, I do remember. Just kidding. Actually, this is very convenient that we're going over here. Because now, now we can, we can, we can, we can, in fact, can. Can you do the can-can? I sure can't. I wouldn't want to anyway, I'm a terrible dancer. So let's go ahead and go in here. I guess Jiggy Wiggy healed us. That kind of confused me why I had full health. Hi, I know you're Honeybee, and I know you'll trade for honeycombs. Yes, I know I have enough extra one units. What? Yes, I do want to trade. And... 
Use your extra energy! Thank you, Miss Honeybee! So now we need seven honey empty honeycombs to get the... The thir fourth. The fourth, in fact. Uh, stupid Buddha hamster distracting me on Skype! He'll never learn, will he? To get the fourth uh, extra energy unit. Anyway, if we come over here, we will see these buttons in our... Oh, come on! These buttons in our likeness. And hello and goodbye for a split second because phone I hate. So many distractions! Ah! Distraction's over. All right, so let's go ahead and go in here. This passageway that we just opened up. Ilo Hags, cliff top. As you can see, there is a Mr. Jam Jars here too. Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. Yay! We got the ice eggs! I have no clue why that enemy is down there. It serves absolutely no purpose as far as I know. I don't know. Anyway, we got the ice eggs! We can freeze enemies and other things now. Also, while we're here, we might as well go ahead and grab this ledge. And go ahead and shuffle on over. And it's a train switch! Everybody's favorite. And that opens up a Chuffy the train station on Ilo Hags! No way! Yes way, for it is, well, I was gonna say over there, but the camera won't let me go that far. Hang on, it, it's, it's over there. We can't really do anything, well, we can do anything with that, but we don't really want to do anything with that for right now. We'll go ahead and leave that for later. Is there music notes in here or something? Feathers, there's fe- ah. Ah. There's feathers in here. Oh, I thought that was a music note. Stupid. <sighs> Anyway, to the lagoon, or to ye lagoon. No! <sighs> anyway, next time in Let's Play Banjo Tooie, we will enter ye lagoon. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>